Well, kind of <laughs> well, you kind of fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the uploading. I may have started that too quick. Hold on. Oh, Cyrano came out already? Who? No. That Cyrano is coming out. Cyrano the Bergerac? It did come out. Cyrano with uh, Peter Dinklage. Instead of having a weird nose, he's little. <laughs> Cyrano the Bergerac. You ever watch the movie Roxanne with Robin Williams? Or Steve Roxanne. Martin? Steve Martin? No. no. Oh, okay. Never mind. <clears throat> All right. Coming back in three, two, one. Welcome back to the No New Friends podcast with Scott, Mary, and Chris. Right before break, I was mentioning that Mary has some uh, annoyances. So, Mary, I'm just going to turn it over to you. You've got a whole notebook. I Look do. at that scroll. Uh, scroll. And I just saw it in Chris's screen in New Jersey. <laughs> like, it rolled out that much. Okay, so here's the thing. I started with this um, to talk about things that annoy me more than they should. Right? Like, more, like it should just be like a small, like, meh but I take it to another level. I, f I filled up more than a sheet of this, of things that really, really bother me. And then I realized I need to probably adjust my attitude a little bit. Um, you know what annoys me? People that write lists. I, I just can't get behind that. I know, that. right? It's, it's mm. trash. Um, so I'm going to do my top five okay. in dog show order, and then I'll do some honorable mentions. Oh, uh, I like and I, please, I'd like to hear your feedback on some. Or should I do the honorable mentions first? Let's do that. Uh, honorable mention uh, number one is when your hair tie snaps. If you are a female, you will understand this. You're in the middle of putting your hair in a ponytail and your hair tie snaps. And you're left with just your hair half up uh, and no way to secure it. That is one of the worst situations to be in. Awful. One out of five stars do not recommend. Can't relate. Cannot yeah, relate. I know you can't, but I think that all of our female listeners will know. Um, we're also going to swing into when you are washing your hands and part of your sleeve gets wet. Oh, oh. yeah, oh. that is terrible. It makes me so mad. It, or if you have socks on and you step in water. Mm -hmm. uh. That is equally as annoying. So um, yep. those made... Uh, my honorable mentions, and then also I'd like to. You know slide what probably annoys like janitors and all that is when they're mopping the floor, and we 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 approach the thing and we have to walk through it, but we do this little tiptoe tip thing to thing. show that we're like, sorry we're that we're on like, lava yeah, like, or something, yeah. but really we don't care. It's but we all do it. We're just, oh, I'm so sorry. Is it's I'm like so oh hot lava, hot lava. You're like in exchange for me making a mess, I'm gonna make myself look like a total asshole doing it like i'm going to walk ridiculous um i'd like to also mention when i am grocery shopping and i allow a child to push a cart and they whack me in the heels Ooh. that is um yes that's a learning opportunity for you do not let your kids push the grocery cart it is true Look, i try to let them be independent and they want to sometimes that's great for like sensory output like they you know pushing things um not when it's my heels let me tell you <laughs> I will bigger annoyance than that is when there's a, th a wheel not working. Oh yeah. Uh... When, it, <laughs> when there's one that's like, just like spinning around that's the worst. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go into wait, wait, uh... wait, before, because I, before we get too far removed from this, um, I, this is something that annoys me uh, speaking about shopping carts. When I, when I go out to a store and I get a bad shopping cart, I will literally find a, an open aisle and I will abandon the cart in the aisle. <laughs> I I, can't, I I do that all the time. Oh, you just can't oh, do it. You God. won't even take it no, back. You're no. just gonna abandon mm -mm. it. And then I and then the worst part is I don't go to the back to the front of the store. So I just carry everything out in my hands. Like <laughs> I just I just I just use my hands as my shopping cart. <laughs> oh yeah, I just leave it right in the aisle. I'm like this should this should be put down. This cart should be euthanized. Yeah, somebody no somebody way. label it. Let yeah. it. And then, like, one of my of big annoyances dinner. is people who abandon their carts in the middle <laughs> of the aisle. My ex wife used to do that all the time. She'd get pissed off at something, and she would just leave a full cart in the aisle, <gasps> and we'd leave. What? I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, that's why they have stalkers. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's going to be a no for me, dog. I don't oh. think I could because I would be mad at myself for wasting so much time shopping and then not completing the task. Um, okay, so we're going to start with uh, number five, working my way down to my number one most uh, upsetting thing. So number five is when you're at a store and you uh, insert your card chip. And then it's like, uh, chip reader not working, swipe <sighs> the card. So then you swipe the card, and it's, it's like, card chip. error. 
And it's like, insert chip. And then you have a line behind you and they look at you like, they're like, who is this peasant whose card is not working? <laughs> so then you bring out your phone and you're like, surely my Apple Pay, like I'll just tap <laughs> it. And then you look even worse because they're like, why are they waving their phone oh, over yeah. the reader? Uh, and then it's like, insert chip. And so you do it. Uh, and then it finally works eventually. Uh, that's very frustrating for me. And to, it's embarrassing. To piggyback off that, the bigger annoyance for me with that is when you go to swipe your card and it comes up declined. And you know. Now, first of all, your heart sinks because you're like, oh, crap. I got hacked or something because I know my debit card is not getting declined. So I'm there, standing there, and instead of like pulling out another card, I'm ch I'm, I'm looking up my balance real quick to make sure that you know I didn't get no, hacked or. I'm you know. angry at you because I'm the person behind you, and it's like, <laughs> man, deal with your affairs outside of the public's line. Like, what is right, happening? Right. Then Meanwhile, I've had to stand. You have to, what, explain, you have to explain whenever that happens to me. I'm like, oh no, they, it's that. Trust me, it's not the client. It's just that. You know, but look at my account, guys. I swear, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But but the people behind me have also had to wait on my biggest annoyance is the convenience store lottery people that oh, have my to do gosh. their scratchers yes. in line right there. Oh. And they're like, actually, just wait. I want to see if I got a winner here. Mm -hmm. Can you check Thank these you. tickets for me real quick? And they have a whole stack. I didn't realize <laughs> Abby could play the lottery. What is happening? <laughs> um, okay, moving along uh, to number four, slow drivers. Oh. I have a really hard time with that, especially, okay, especially if a light turns red. And it's not even the people who aren't paying attention because I've been there before, but the ones that just really slowly accelerate. I'm like, come on, man. I'm sure we both have places to go. Or if you could make it like yellow means accelerate. Let's get all of us no. through this. Go, no. go, go, go. But I they stop. I, and it uh, makes me so like <laughs> I am so enraged because there's nothing I can do. I'm trapped in my car and I just have to sit there and take it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm glad you, you brought that up because that's actually when when you said things that shouldn't annoy you that do annoy you when you texted us earlier, Scott, the number one thing that um, came to mind is old people driving. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I'm, I'm I, sorry. Oh, I always go on the ti a tirade, and Emily's probably sick and tired of hearing. I'm like, they have to be retested when you get to I a certain so. age. Yes. Take the driving test again. There's no yes. reason why this 97-year-old okay. woman, you know, Blanche should not be on the road no. today. <laughs> no. Okay, so in Florida, we have what are called snowbirds, and they come down, and they From Jersey. pack up the streets. No, you will see every state that is up north driving down I-4, just <sighs> causing a, a commotion, and it's very upsetting. Um, okay, so moving on. Mary, do fast of... drivers get under your skin? Not at all. Let's the... go, baby, go. Pew, pew, pew. See, I'm, I, I'm, I'm the opposite. So I drive the speed limit or five miles per hour above Gentleman's it. five. You, you have to gentleman's, gentleman's five. five. Gentleman's exactly. five. I think, are the gentleman's like 15? That's yeah. fine. I get annoyed okay. when I'm going above the speed limit and someone's riding me. Okay, oh. but are you in the left lane? Because if you are, move over. No, it, not always. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. So what you I do. me. I'm sure it's you. You're probably one of probably. them. Probably. What I do to retaliate, Mary, is Let's I will catch up. I will catch up with the next car. <laughs> and just I will block them match in. their speed. You block them in because or, you're passive aggressive. I love or it. Or I'll slow down so that. The car now behind me realizes that the other lane's going faster, so he moves over, and then I then speed, speed up. up. Oh, and he, I just see him going back and forth trying to get around one of Is us. Is that what they mean by driving defensively? Because that's driving off offensively. Oh, oh, but yeah, also that's driving offensively. offensively. <laughs> like, offensively, though, also, like, because I'm offended. Um, I all right, my so brakes, Scott, to make it look like I'm, like, just a little bit. my brakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just touched the brakes so I knew the brake light will go on, but I'm not actually braking yeah. just, to, just to scare them a little bit. Yep. Or you know what I'll also do is if I finally do let them pass me, as they're coming up, I, I hold both hands on the wheel and I make it look like I'm doing this sharp swerve into them, but I just slide my hands on the thing. You just are hope... the reason why there are terrible crashes, like fiery crashes. I'm not doing anything That's wrong. Awful. Okay, we're moving on. Um, 
people who walk slowly uh, in front of you. And I'm going yes. to say specifically in certain situations, if you are on a moving walkway, it is a moving walkway, not a moving standway. Please keep moving. <laughs> Please keep moving. Also, if you have a party of more than two people, you need to, okay, we're going to Noah's Ark this shit, two by two. You cannot take up a whole walkway no, single with file. all 15 of you. Yes. yes. Come on, man. Don't Horrible. block my way. I have places to go. I don't want to have to bob and weave my way through. It Let is me my through. number one annoyance at Universal Studios because they have those people mover walkway, uh, moving walkway things. And now I understand on the way back, when you're leaving, you're exhausted, Nobody wants to walk, but, and on the way back, I always, I'll stand, but I'm always as far right as possible, mm -hmm. but going in, I try I'm to go excited. as far left as possible. But going in, I mean, people are just standing there. I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like weaving through, like I'm a, you know, with a skier going through the flags, you know, just weaving. Yeah. It's like, it's a moving okay. walkway. It's a moving Come walkway. On. Either walk or everybody get on the same page and either stand on the right or the left so that the yes. walkers have yes. a clear path. Do you know what the worst is though? Is that the Orlando airport, if you park like in the parking garage, there's one very, very short moving walkway that people take and they'll, yes. they'll just sit on it. And you're like, why? This is, I don't understand what is happening here. That is also very frustrating. So I, I hate slow walkers. And, you know, I, I go to the theme parks a lot and I, you know, I want to go from one place and I cannot walk with a purpose. stand. Yes, I cannot walk stand walking behind someone slow. I, I get so annoyed. Yes. I think at my bachelor party because I'll, I'll go like this, you know, where I'm putting my throw and my hands up in the air. And I think I did that a billion you, times. You did, I'm sure. But I also probably don't remember that. I also don't remember that. Okay, moving on to number two. Guys, okay. You know when you use a restroom, usually a public restroom, uh, and you go to wash your hands and it's the sinks with a sensor, um, yes. and you put your hands under there and you can't get the sensor to work, and then as soon uh -huh. as you move them, it turns on. <laughs> I get so mad I, I it, because it's embarrassing, but then like you, you, it finally turns on, so then you put your hands under it and it, and it turns off, and then you're still <laughs> trying to like make it turn back on, mm -hmm. and then you get soap. And then you still have the same struggle and you're like, does this count towards my 20 seconds? I don't know. Like I've been struggling this whole time. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Even worse than the censored uh, sinks, Mary, are the, the push to start ones that oh, like, you know, they only go for a couple out. seconds. Oh, yeah. and, it and so I'm pushing it. And by the, yeah. By the time I, my hands are there, it's done. And, and it's this constant struggle of, you know, I look I like just, a milk and a yeah, cow or something. I, yeah. I just use my mouth. And I, like, <laughs> I just lean over, keep my mouth on the no hands involved. Uh, um, yeah, so that's very frustrating. Um, and coming in at number one, I can't wait because these were all good ones. This, um, my mother did this to me. Oh, I thought you were saying my mother. Like, ooh. No, yeah, my, yeah, that's, no, ooh. my mother did this to me. This Birth is you? no, that too. Um, also, yeah, I guess children, I guess, upset me, but that's different. Um, <laughs> I cannot stand people who chew with their mouths open oh, yeah. or chew loudly. I When I say that it is an issue, like it is a very big deal for me. That is a deal breaker. Deal what about breaker, e done. eating a cheese stick like a wood chipper? Okay, look, I had just enough white claws for that to be okay. <laughs> Do it again when I'm not, you know, four white claws deep watching the Red Wedding and um, I don't know, man. Uh, I can't like to the point where my sister and I, when we were growing up, when we would eat cereal, we would have to like build fortresses out of cereal boxes so that we could not see or hear each other because we could not stand the sound of just the other person eating. Like it, it is a serious thing. So if I hear somebody like chewing with their mouth open, it like, I am like almost like it's almost physically painful. I am angry. I'm so angry. Pretty sure that's a disorder of sorts, but here I, I am. I'm no, I'm I'm with you 100% on this. Like as a as if a child is doing it, okay, like the parents can correct that. There's time, but like an, an adult who's chewing with their mouth open, uh no, I mean, when I say, when you say child, I hope you mean the cutoff is like four. Yeah, when they're learning how to eat. <laughs> if my children know better, I'm like, uh, your mouth. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, man, yeah, you're right. There's that, no situation where it is 
acceptable to chew with your mouth open. Don't do Co it. Uh, agreed. That was a great list. Unless Chris. you want to catch these hands. They're little Caesars and hot and ready for everybody. Chris, do you have any large annoyances? Yes. Uh, when someone gives me their number for the first time, and I text them, and it's a green green bubble. <gasps> oh. oh. So when you know that they have an Android. That is. I uh, actually, now that you say that, <laughs> if uh, somebody texts me and I go to respond and they call me, don't call me. Mm -mm. That makes me I, angry. I do, I do that a lot to Mary. You do that. We're, you we're do having... that. <laughs> you see that I respond and you're like, oh, she's available. I'm going to call her right now. But I don't do it all the time. And I feel like I'm the exception to that rule. You are because, because I don't it's... mind. I answer for you. Nobody else, yeah, though. Yeah. My sister. But... My sister I answer for. That's it. Yeah, super annoying. I don't I don't want to talk to you. I, you know, I, I'm an honorary millennial in that standpoint. I, I just want to text. Yeah. But Chris, I'm with you. And in, in, yep. because now I know I can't FaceTime with this person. Yeah. I can't name a group that they're in. You yep. can't trust them. <laughs> also that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that was number one. We already knew that. <laughs> what kind of animal? I just, <laughs> what is this? I don't under, ugh, awful, awful. Scott, go ahead. You tell us yours. <laughs> Well, I think I said a lot of. I think slow walkers are probably the 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 biggest annoyance that I have. I also um, I don't like big parties in a restaurant, um, especially when they like are not understanding that their food's going to take a little bit longer. I I don't like large or especially large parties that don't call ahead. Like oh, when we were working at like, Smoky Bones. What do you mean you don't have space for forty? Yeah. What do you mean we have people? to wait? Yeah. What do you mean we have to wait for an hour? Um, <laughs> that was like the about. that was like the no. biggest lesson that I gave my son when he was in uh, when he was in drama in high school because they would just after a show, just hit up Steak and Shake or, you know, if there's any Denny's or, or around or an IHOP or something like that, and so this would be like ten o'clock at night. Like they've made their cuts for the evening. You know, they, they've, they're, they're now on the skeleton crew mm -hmm. and here comes this bratty group of teenagers, uh, who are drama kids and, and I'm like, call ahead. You call ahead. I don't ahead. know though, Scott, what do you think's worse? The after church crew or the drama kids late at night? Because I think <sighs> that the one thirty to 2 PM after church crew, they just got done singing about waves of mercy and waves of grace. And they're like, uh. Why can't you seat my party of 32? I think, and, man, uh, it's... I'd it's like an Arnold Palmer. It's different uh, It's different places in hell. I think because, it's different levels, different types of entitlement is what it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Because the kids are going to be very entitled and they're going to be loud I, and they're going to be messy and they're not going to tip. Scott, pause. Chris, that mm -hmm, you just did, I feel like needs to be on the soundboard. I want to replay that all the time. You're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll try to pull it out. Yeah, um, please do. Said. That's oh, <laughs> oh. no, oh, no, gosh. Chris. Strike it from no. the record. Strike it from the record. Strike. It. Is. <sighs> I object. And, and then the old people, they're going to be demanding of of time. Mm. Like the kids, you could take it an hour to get them their food. They don't. They don't care. But the the church crowd, they're nasty. They don't tip. They're angry. They. They really don't order high ticket items and then they don't, you know, they don't tip the server. They're both terrible. They're both awful. We just lost uh, 0.25% of our listeners. <laughs> I think that's okay, though. It's a risk I was willing to take. Um, I really appreciate you guys listening to my full list. Uh, there are more. I just decided to keep them out uh, because I didn't want to sound like an angry human. I'm not. I actually really love life and all of the things. Those are just things that make me more angry than they should. Like I feel, I feel angry when I probably shouldn't. Um, so I'm working on it, you know, one day at a time. I Fair enough. One foot in front of the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're listening to the No New Friends podcast. We'll be right back.